What's up everyone and welcome to my Living Rock Caverns mining guide for concentrated gold and concentrated coal ore. Next up I'm going to head over to RuneScape and show you guys all the inventory setup, how to get there, the map of the place, and what to do for the best XP that you can get while mining gold or coal in the Living Rock Caverns. Okay guys, before I start getting into the inventory for Living Rock Caverns, one thing you should note is that you want to join the friends chat mining golds and be in world 88. Uh, this allows people in this clan chat or friends chat rather. Everybody calls out the um, the position of the gold rocks that are up, and this really helps you get the best XP per hour. And it also allows you to meet people and know exactly where to go and when to go, so that the gold rocks are available. Now for the inventory, I recommend a little setup something like this. If you don't have a my, uh, the ability to use a lava titan, there are other ones that you can use, such as an obsidian golem. If not, then you might want to bring a bunyip. But in World 88, chances are that you won't be being attacked. You won't be being attacked a whole lot, so you might not even need one. I also recommend bringing decorated mining urns or the highest level mining urn that you can make. Uh, this allows you to fill up this amount of the inventory, drop them, or out them, anything in that way. And then it starts filling up your urns, then you can teleport them away for more XP. This particular one gives about 625 mining XP per urn, and I bring about 17 to fill up my inventory like this. And I also bring one extra uh, Lava Titan pouch. Another thing you might want to bring to just to get there quickly is a combat bracelet. But note that there is a place that you can deposit it into your bank when you get to the Living Rock Caverns. Now, for armor setup, you're going to want to bring either golden mining armor, full if you have it, and some good defense bonuses, which is why I'm bringing a spirit shield and a skill cape in case I have to use prayer, and it looks a little bit better than the Soul Wars cape. Another thing you're going to want to bring, if you don't have the golden mining armor, you're going to want to bring a Varrock plate body, and then some good uh, defense bonuses. So Varrock Armor 3, if you have it, would be the most recommended. But if you have the Golden Mining Top, Varrock Armor 3 uh, is kind of inside of it as long as you have it. So you get the same effect as Varrock Armor 3 with the Golden Mining Top as long as you've beaten all of the Varrock Diaries. If you don't have Golden Mining Armor, you're going to want to bring something like Bandos or anything really that has a good defense bonus just in case you do get attacked, you want to have the ability to survive as long as possible. Now for an easy way to get there, just rub your combat bracelet and teleport to the monastery. This will bring you just west of Edgeville and near the Ice Mountains and an easy entrance to the mining area the Living Rock Caverns is right near, right south of Ice Mountain. If you know where you started, the uh, the quest so that you could get a uh, dwarf multi cannon. It's just south of that, down that little hole, and uh, it's it's right there. One thing to note before you come here: there's no place where you can bank to withdraw items. There's only a deposit item. The pulley lift downstairs in the mining area is basically just like a uh, bank deposit booth you can deposit things but you cannot withdraw them so after you have gotten a full inventory you can just deposit but after you use up everything in your inventory the two familiars and the 17 mining urns then you should go bank in Falador once you come down here you can run right here all you have to do is climb down the rock with the rope and if you need to there's a summoning obelisk here I recommend summoning your uh, lava titan or other summoning familiar right when you get here so summon that and then recharge your points just so you can renew your familiar without having to get more points after this one runs out um, once you come once you do that you're gonna wanna come down this rock and note it might be quite laggy when you get down world 88 is usually the world for it it's not as laggy as the uh, the actual living rock mining world where most people do the coal but this nonetheless is a lot lag a lot less laggier than that world and it still helps you out so you want to come to this bank deposit booth and deposit your combat bracelet so you have the most inventory space that you can and then basically listen to the call outs SED southeast uh, says the position southwest southeast northeast and northwest and then U means up which means you can mine there D means down which means you cannot mine there 
Now I'm going to bring up a little map of this place to point out the gold mining areas and the coal mining areas. So this is the map of the actual mining area itself. You'll, you'll climb down the rope to get there at the exit point and then the bank is just south of that as I showed you before. Now each of these uh, mining areas as you can tell by the top some are gold by the color of them and the white ones are coal. The most efficient one to bank and safe spot them is probably the southeast one which is tucked away in that little corner and then the southwest one close after that. I recommend staying there and just waiting if they're not up at the moment if you're going to bank the bank the ores but if you're going to do my method that you'll see in a little bit it really doesn't matter where you go. Uh, the northwest is probably the most out of the way because you have to run all the way around all the fishing areas and once you're there you're going to want to try to stay there uh, as like you don't want to stay there long if you're trying to bank because it takes such a long time to run all the way around and get to the bank so ideally you want to stay in the southwest and the southeast if you're banking but it doesn't really matter where you are if you're going to mine and superheat or just mine and drop as I am in this video so now I'll go back to RuneScape to show you my method of mining with an inferno adds an 84 mining I average about 65 to 66 K an hour using the urns and a lava titan with the dragon pickaxe however this could go a lot faster uh, pushing 80 K an hour sometimes even more than that so now I'll head over to runescape and I'll show you my method of mining golds okay guys once you get here you'll notice in the clan chat that people are calling out neu wnu all that kind of stuff that's just the direction and uh, everything like I mentioned before so what you want to do is find one that's available and then if you have mouse keys it really helps turn them on if not since you only have a small window of inventory space open uh, it really doesn't make a difference if you can if you just drop like this or drop with mouse keys since if you don't drop with mouse keys that means you're gonna have to drop more often but if you do that, just what I recommend if you don't have mouse keys, wait until you mine an ore so you don't miss a tick, drop one, and then click the rock like that. It even doesn't matter if you miss a tick or so. Um, it It's still very fast. I average about 65k an hour with nads. So what you want to do is just mine and drop. And one thing I like to do is move the urn. The urn will start out, the one with the charge will start out up here, but I like to move it down here. As you can see it has a check level option down here so I like to do that because you want to use these four urns first it gives you the extra XP of having the urns but as you use these down here you have more area to hold or and then drop in a straight line especially if you have mouse keys I recommend moving it down there so like I said it's about 65k an hour and all you really want to do is be in this friends chat and pay attention to the callouts. That way you get as much XP per hour as possible because you're not running around looking for uh, some a rock to mine. Another thing I recommend if you're going for XP rather than the money, do what this guy's doing here. I don't know why he's doing it now, but basically if all the gold rocks are down or if you're trying to mine in bank and you're using this rock and the rock down there and both of them are out, what you can do is come mine make some inventory space obviously and then come mine some coal which is right here this one's usually up when these two are down so if these if this coal rock is up and the gold ones are down I recommend mining this because you don't lose much XP and another thing if you drop a decorated mining urn and the stack of things is so high what you do is right click and hold down the right click option and you can go all the way off the screen with it and keep the stack going all the way down the screen but as long as the mining, uh, the gold ones are up, then you should be fine. Uh, this is about 65k an hour. Like I said, it can be up to 80 if you have a dragon pick. So it's worth it if you're going to stay here a while. Again, mouse keys is highly recommended, but I don't have time in this video to show you guys how I set up mouse keys and all that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it was any help to you, please comment, rate, subscribe, and like the video. And I'll see you guys later with a new guide or a new Slayer vlog.